Hey guys, it's upgrade season for darn near all of us uh, across the nation, maybe except for you guys down in Arizona. I know you guys are just getting in, into your race season. So uh, for me, uh, part of my upgrade season is engine cooling and transmission cooling. I'm going to be adding uh, both an engine oil cooler and a transmission oil cooler. These things are fairly standard. You've seen them before. Um, Normally, these guys are mounted up, up front, down low. You guys have seen them all the time. Um, generally, you find a spot where there's good airflow uh, and, and mount them. Uh, or you put them in front of the radiator. And the thing I don't like about putting them in front of the radiator is you're blocking the airflow to the radiator again. For my car, I really couldn't find any spot that I liked these up front. Uh, just no place they fit that I really liked them. So... I'm going to do something really unconventional, uh, something I've not seen uh, seen done, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. So it's kind of long-winded. I'm going to walk you through it, so stick with me. Um, some of you are going to love it. Some of you are going to hate it. Um, I'll tell you why you'll hate it later. <laughs> but essentially, we're going to jump back here. I'm going to be mounting the cooler at the back of the car, drawing air from here. So I've already been chopping on my car uh, this, this season and I'll be doing more paint work, but I have chopped this whole area out, uh, chopped out the original uh, Firebird. I'm going to show you over here, but yeah, that I cut out of the car. That's why a lot of you guys are going to hate me. I know the Pontiac purists out there will be sending me hate mail. That's okay. I'm used to it. Um, so I'm going to add in these guys, NACA ducts, the carbon fiber. These things are fantastic. NACA is uh, kind of the predecessor to NASA. NACA was a National Advisory Committee to Aeronautics. Um, the nice thing about th this design and style of duct is it maintains high velocity airflow without increasing drag. Drag is bad in airplanes, it's even bad on race cars. So I'm gonna be doing this. That's gonna be where it gets its airflow from. Um, I'm gonna be putting two of these on either side. The upper one will run back to a cooler, a cooler I just showed you, or I'll, I will show you here in a minute. Top one is going to be for engine oil. On the other side, it's going to be the transmission cooler. There'll be a, a, there'll be a tilt and pump that's going to pump fluid up for the transmission. Um, the lower one, that's going to be for brake, rear brake cooling. So really, it'll just have a hose running back to the rotor. So this will be getting duplicated on both sides. So I'm going to have four of these... Uh, uh, inlets on two on each side. Um, so that's where it gets its air from. Now, where does it exit? You got air in, you got to have air out. This whole assembly here, you got your cooler, your small, small fan, and then some shroud work going to a three inch uh, duct. Come on around back here. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Um, there'll be two of these assemblies back here mounted below this panel, basically back in the trunk area. Uh, they'll be mounted up basically like so, one on each side. Uh, there'll be some uh, additional sheet metal ductwork that'll bring it up to a, I'm going to machine some really, really cool billet uh, exhaust vents here and over there. So there'll be one for each of these assemblies. Again, one side's going to be uh, transmission cooler, one side's going to be engine oil cooler. So these will mount there. So now the challenge was, okay, I've got to go from a three inch round hole on this ductwork uh, up to or coming in from, let me grab that other vent here, ductwork. So I gotta go from a small rectangular port on these guys here to a three inch hole. So I did what a lot of us do is we start playing with paper dolls. <laughs> so I started cutting out uh, some uh, shape that I thought would work and this is essentially all these guys um, I've got them all knocked out, but this is uh, this is what I came up with. So it's kind of an odd looking thing. It's uh, really ugly because my fabrication skills are not that great. But there will be two of these mounted on either side. They'll they'll sit inside here, get welded into the uh, center or inside of the quarter panel. What that'll do is uh, it'll allow me to transition to the vent and a hose assembly that'll run up through this area. This whole area is hollow in the car. You can't see it from inside, so that hose is going to run up there. Two of the coolers would be nice, clean installation. For the lower one, it would just be a straight hose running right, right back to the uh, uh, rotors. So 
Um, it's been a fun project. It's uh, I'm getting excited about it. Um, that's all I've got for now. I just wanted to give you a quick update on what my winter project, one of my winter projects is. Uh, the other big one is I'm doing an engine upgrade on this thing. So uh, block is off to the machine shop now. So uh, Firebird's got to get a lot of, lot of upgrades this winter. Uh, this is just the beginning of it. So anyway, guys, that's all I've got. I'll shoot some more videos, update you as I go. And uh, if you have any questions, shoot me a line. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.